Good day YouTube, I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the second season of Football Manager Upside Down Divisions. If you missed the first season, go check it out in the link above. And then once you've watched that, come right back and you don't want to miss a thing. Right, now that you've watched the first season, what did you think? Any surprises? Did you ever think that Mansfield would win for Premier League? How do you think they're going to fare in Champions League this season? And also, do you think Chelsea or Spurs will ever get out of League 2? We will start this episode by having a quick look at where the teams are at the midpoint of the season and then finish off with a full end of the season review. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content on Football Manager, FIFA and Hattrick, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so we don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. Right, it's January 1st. It's now time for our mid-season review. We start off with the Premier Division. See, we currently have Burton miles away top there. Nine points. Nine points, Burton. Then you have, in second place, Oxford. Then Rochdale, Salford, Sutton, Carlisle, MK, Dons. Now, is Burton a surprise? The Burton last year came fourth. They won the championship playoffs. And our previous season champions, Mansfield, are down in 12th. Not having that great of a season. And then we have Oldham, Exeter and Walsall down at the bottom. Now we move on to the championship. We have Blackburn on 54 points. Again, I would presume Blackburn got promoted last season. Have a quick look here. So yeah, from League One. Oh, they won it. So they are on course for back-to-back -back title wins. And then we've got Barnsley, who also got promoted from League One. Rotherham, Birmingham, Portsmouth, Lincoln. And then in relegation, we've got Morecambe, Leighton and Crawley. Possibly going down League One. Here we go. So they've got some Premiership teams in there now who got promoted from League Two last year. So who did we have got promoted? We had Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal and Man United. Oh, look at that. Man United. They're struggling struggling in league one they are struggling we'll look at man united in a minute maybe find out why ah i know why that's odd look, they've only played 13 games compared to everyone else's okay we'll have a look at that in a minute so man city are second and liverpool are top and arsenal are fighting for a playoffs you can see arsenal winning that right if they do get to the playoffs but man united so 13 they've only played 13 games everyone else has played 24 Four schedule. Why are they struggling? Ah, it's because they're in Europe. They're in the Euro Cup. Damn, so they got they got that's a lot of games. Sheffield Wednesday. You know what? I thought they were gonna be one of our favourites to go down. They play Wednesday. Good. Well done. Now League Two. Chelsea, Leicester, Southampton, Wolves, West Ham, Newcastle, Tottenham. Who's threatening of going down to non-league? And that's Grinspin Stockport. That's our mid-season review. Let's get cracking. Find out how it all ends. And we'll look at all the transfers throughout the season and see what's happening there. And we'll also obviously look at Champions League, UEFA Cup, and for two domestic cups, FA Cup and League Cup. Catch you in a minute. have a new Premier Division champion. Last year it was Mansfield. They've come 11th. 11th this season. But Burton, as from our mid-season review, they have battered it. 93 points with MK Dons, Oxford, Rochdale, Carlisle and Colchester all getting in Europe. A bit more stronger teams than last year, I think, uh, going into Europe, but still probably not that strong enough. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at how English teams did. Probably got knocked out group stages, most likely probably bottom, but we will see, see if any of them threw any surprises. Who was top goal scorer? Steffi Mavididi. 25 goals. He has absolutely battered it. They Paid 10 million for him. Wow. So he's at Arsenal Youth. Arsenal Youth. You got relegated. Harrogate, Oldham, and Exeter. Ooh, one point. One point in it for Harrogate. Unlucky. Transfers for the Premier Division. Bit by fee. Yeah, it's already done. So as we've already seen, Mavi Diddy and Luke Thomas. Any ones we know, Ben Pearson, Burke, Anthony Knockarth, 1.7 million Fulham to Oxford. Yeah, Burton really brought those players, didn't they? It'd be interesting to see who in the championship is going to join them and be their next competition. As we saw from the mid-season review, I believe it was Blackburn who was top. They won League One for season before. Let's go have a look. Blackburn did not win back-to-back -back titles as our League One champions, but Barnsley nicked it by 
not even by goal difference, but actually by goals scored. They scored more than Blackburn, but they conceded more. But unfortunately, if that's how it goes. They are for champions. They are for ones going up to the Premier Division. But Blackburn obviously came second. Now, playoffs, semi-finals. So we have Portsmouth beat Bolton, Rotherham beat Birmingham. So it's a Portsmouth Rotherham final. Let's see for results. And Rotherham won. So Rotherham will be joining Blackburn and Barnsley in the Premier Division. And who got relegated? Morecambe, Leighton Orient and Crawley. Any standout players in this league? Ridrow, 22 goals. Alfie May, Sam Gallagher and George Miller all up there with the goals. Cullen Britton, really good on average rating. Good on assists as well. Look at that, 17 assists. You guys are looking for any players to try and sign maybe these could be ones to look into add into your scouting pattern or put them on your shortlist again let's have a quick look at the top transfers here so the top one was three million pounds that was Callum Morton West Brom to Swindon George Johnston Bolton to Chelsea Sam Surridge anyone any big names no nah, nothing in there and not that much excitement on a transfer front Let's move on to Phoenix League, League One. So just like mid-season, Liverpool was top. They've managed to keep that 125 points. Man City second. Now, now that we've seen that, let's go into playoffs. Bristol City versus Arsenal, 5-0 on aggregate. And then Man United played Stoke and it was 7-1 on aggregate. So it's going to be between Arsenal and Man United to get promoted. So one of these two teams are going to stay in League One for another season. Final, and it was Arsenal. They won 3-1. Just pop back to the league table and see who got relegated. Sheffield Wednesday survive again in League One. That is brilliant. Who got relegated? So who's going down to League Two? That is Hull, Bristol Rovers, Bradford and Tranmere. Oh yeah, four teams come up. So another four Premier Division teams are most likely going to come up to League One, which is going to make it very hard for Man United. Who are the performers in this league? Phil Foden, 26 goals. Wow, he's becoming good, isn't he? Ronaldo still there for Man United with 20. Mane, 21. And Salah, 24. Mane and Salah are doing the job still for Liverpool. Average rating, Mane, Van Dijk, Varane, Foden, assists, Odegaard, Fernandez, Silva and Mane there. So they're keeping some of their top players. Reputation of the club, right? Not, And it's not just all about Champions League. Transfers. Here we got, oh, some big ones here. So Kevin De Bruyne goes to Paris Saint-Germain. So back here, Saka, Arsenal to Chelsea. Obviously Chelsea are still in League 2, Rodri, Man City to Barcelona, Oxley chamberlain Liverpool to Inter, Fernandinho, Man City to Barcelona, but Fernandinho is getting quite old. Right, should we go check to see what Premier Divisions are going to come up and join Man United in League 1? Or well, maybe there might be a shot, maybe there might be a shot, who knows. Let's go have a look, shall we? Chelsea of League 2 champions, they are going into League 1 to join Man United, but we also have Leicester and Tottenham going up as well. As we've always done, quickly have a look at the playoffs, see what's happened here. So West Ham beat Newcastle 4-2 on aggregate. Southampton beat Wolves 4-2 on aggregate. So you've got a West Ham-Southampton final. That'd be quite good, quite good. Final. And Southampton beat West Ham in extra time 2-1. Right, let's quickly jump back to the league table and see who's going down. Grimsby Stockport. Yeah, no surprise there. Miles down at the bottom there. Right. Who are our top performers? Adam Armstrong, 29 goals. Chris Wood, 27. Havertz, 26. Harry Kane, 23. Best performers, Harry Kane, Lukaku, Ward Prowse, and then Havertz. Assists, Armstrong, another Armstrong. Stuart Armstrong, I believe. K Havertz, St. Maximum, and then Cleach. Let's go have a look at the transfers. Reese James has been sold to Paris Saint-Germain, 54 million. Rodiga is gone to Dortmund, 27.5 million. Kante has left Chelsea, he's gone to Atletico Madrid, 22 million. That's a bargain. How old is he nowadays? He's 32. Okay, his age is getting, but but it's still good. Then Declan Rice gone to Real Madrid, 21 million. Thomas Schuchek, West Ham, he's gone to Roma. Stuart Dallas gone to Red Bull Leipzig. Rafina leads to Dortmund. Hugo Lurus he's gone to Frankfurt from Tottenham on a free. Asper Chelsea to Atletico Madrid. Andres Christensen 
Chelsea to Paris Saint-Germain. Carabao. Right, we start off in for quarterfinals. Arsenal versus AFC Wimbledon. Arsenal win 3-0. Liverpool 2, Rochdale 0. Newcastle 0. Southampton 1. Leeds 2. Tottenham nil. Semi-final, Liverpool versus Leeds. Liverpool win that 3-1. Southampton versus Arsenal. Arsenal scrape by and win 2-1. So it's an Arsenal-Liverpool final. Who's going to get European place for the for one of the big teams? Oh, it's Arsenal. Oh, that surprised me a little bit. Arsenal win it. Win for Carabao Cup. Community Shield. Maybe we should have started off with this one. Maybe I'll do that next season. Arsenal beat Mansfield 4-1. Papa John's trophy. Remember, most Premiership teams are in there now. Semi finals Man United beat Arsenal 2 0. Everton, Liverpool. Ooh, Merseyside Derby, Liverpool. Scrape by on that one. Liverpool win it. Big trophy there. Big trophy. Last domestic English Cup for us to have a quick look at. Of interest, anyway. For FA Cup. So, any shockers? Blackburn lose out to penalties to Liverpool. Chelsea beat Leeds 2-1. Arsenal beat Burnley 1-0 after extra time. Leicester beat Everton 3-0. Move on to the semi-finals. Chelsea beat Leicester after extra time 3-1. And Liverpool beat Arsenal 1-0. Chelsea Liverpool final. Let's have a look who's going to win it. And it's Liverpool. Wow, what a game. 3-2. So 78th minute winner. So Chelsea was winning 1-0. And Firmino... Equalises on 16th minute. Then Mane takes a lead 2 1. Averts brings it back just before half time. And then just the battle to try and get that winner. And Harvey Elliott makes it for well, Liverpool. Well done. Euro Cup. Only one English team into the quarterfinals, and that's Arsenal. Wolfsburg go through. Arsenal goes through. Atletico Madrid versus Milan. Milan nick it down. I could get 3 1. And then Feyenoord. It's last place into semis. Oh, Arsenal beat Feyenoord 3-2 on aggregate. Then Milan absolutely battered Wolfsburg 5-1 on aggregate. And Arsenal win it. They are Euro Cup champions. They won on for penalty shootout against Milan. Let's just dive into this one. So Milan missed two penalties and Arsenal got all of theirs. Oh yeah, and of course we have Euro Cup 2. To be fair, I didn't cover this last season because of was that aware but actually Trabzon Spore won it last season. We do have entrances for English teams this year and Man United are for any ones. So who do we have? Uh, Marseille, Man United, Hertha Berlin and Nice go through. Man United beat Rangers 4-2 on aggregate. So semi-final Man United win 5-0 on aggregate against Hertha Berlin and Marseille beat Nice. Nice French uh, match up there they battered nice 4-1 on aggregate so final marseille versus man united and for winner is man united so that's arsenal and man united have both won the euro cup so euro cup one and euro cup two i'm presuming this is like the cup winners cup and then euro cup is as we all know it as for uefa cup right so for champions league no big teams for England in the Champions League. Quarterfinals, Barcelona go through on penalties against Bayern Munich. Bayer Leverkusen beats Roma. Paris Saint-Germain beat Real Madrid and Inter beat Juventus. Is this going to be finally Paris Saint-Germain's year? Let's have a look. Semi-finals. Oh no, they've gone out to Inter. Just a 1-0 win. They lost away as well. 1-0. Wow. And Barcelona got beaten by Bayer Leverkusen on penalties. Let's go. So Bayer Leverkusen versus Inter and Inter's won it for second season running fair play let's have a quick jump in there to see who was the best performers in the final and Brozovic got both goals how has he performed this season yeah, he's pretty good isn't he pretty good as a defensive midfielder again one to add to your shortlists so Mansfield lost all six games no surprise no surprise who else was there Warsaw again lost all six games really not fair but end of the day Mansfield won Premier Division right and then Forest Green they drew one they drew one well done Forest Green well done Northampton they lost all six and that's it second season done progressing really nicely it's a very interesting just to see how these silly saves work I would love to manage in one of them but in the day we want to see what happens right season three what do you reckon is going to happen let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you would like to watch more videos like this please subscribe and to be notified click on the bell.